saw you, your magic cast its spell. Mumbo and Mother, may I? You know this won't end well. Sweet, I love ya, although you look a fright. Too bad for the Titans, this is mayhem at first sight. So buy a dress and bake a cake, I'll don my tucks and tails. To find our wedding party, we'll go empty out the jail. Now you're all invited to our magic wedding night. Cause with me and Mother, it was mayhem at first sight. Hello, dear beloved, we are gathered here today to say I do. And once we do, you'll never get away. Say the vows, exchange the rings, you now may kiss the groom. And watch me and my missus and the Titans do their doom. Now you're in deep trouble on our magic wedding night. Cause with me and mother, it was mayhem at first sight. Do you take this villain as your unlawful partner in crime? Sorry, Mumbo. Wedding's off. Dude, that didn't even rhyme. How come I never get to sing? Get your cape on and let's take flight. We can be who we like. Get your cape on. Now's the time. Save the world from crime. Get your cape on. We're DC Superhero Girls. That girl, we're about to be dropped in the middle of nowhere for our advanced survival skills. Final. Shouldn't you be studying? I'll be fine, Ivy. I have a utility belt full of gadgets, a survival app, and Oracle. You rang. Students, you must arrive at the designated recon spot before sundown to receive a passing grade. Batgirl, you're up. Yeah. Advanced surviving on! Welcome to the jungle, Oracle. It's not all fun and games. Don't worry, we're gonna have a great time. But which way's north? Unable to locate a wireless signal. Still no signal? Well, at least I still have you and a belt full of gadgets. Ah! Oh no! Oracle? Hello? <sighs> Note to self when inventing state of the art technology, make sure it's waterproof. <laughs> Excellent. Bad girl, you pass. What happened to you in there? <sighs> Thanks to your inspiration, I got in touch with some super nature powers. I think you also got in touch with some poison oak. Ugh! Oh, man! The Little Salmon Cat Show! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mammals and reptiles, plants and minerals. Little dice, hurry up. We're stuffed in a tiny car over here. It's time for the Little I'm Little Sam. And I'm Little Cat. And we ran off and joined the circus. So step right up and enjoy the show. Watch this. We've gone down and learned us some tricks. That was flippin' amazing! What'd I tell you, little cat? Circusing is awesome. You're right. As long as no creepy clowns show up, it'll be tons of fun. I promise you, no clowns. Send in the clowns. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and introduce our first segment, little cat? This first segment is one of my faves. We asked a bunch of little humans, aka kids, to explain what happened on this week's episode of Sam and Cat. And you should hear what they... Why does it smell like clown in here? Turn around. Claw, claw, clowns! <gasps> One for little Sam, none for little cat. Now beat it, clowns, you're creeping me out. <laughs> Sam 
and cat. Um, they, um, um, Sam and Cat, they like have a babysitting commercial. But Sam was lazy and didn't, didn't do almost anything. Well, she's saying like, it's illegal to lock your kids in a closet. I don't know about that one. Um, mm. Sam just shoved the, shoved the burger in the baby's face. So I wave my ninja banana over him. What? And then the dog speaks. I was like, like, what? <laughs> it's mostly all I know. I don't know how to explain it. And that was kids trying to explain the episode. And failing. Hey, little cat. I want you to come meet my pet elephant, Biggie. Oh, I'd love to. Where is he? Are you serious right now? He's the giant elephant in the room. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. There he is. Hello, Biggie. Biggie's awesome. He can do all sorts of cool stuff. Try him out. Hmm. Shake. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> See, it's fun, right? Oh, just don't tell him to play D-E-A-D. -E Deed? Play D? No, play dead. Hey everybody, we have had some pretty great guest stars on Sam and Cat so far. We've had Sophia Grace and Rosie, we've had our old friend Psychowitz. But you know what? I think the guest star I'm by far the most excited about is our next guest. Please welcome the toilet from Toilet Wars. Give it up, everybody. I hate my life, and I don't want to do this interview. Oh, well, thank you for making the time. So you are a toilet from BF Wang's bathroom. Do you enjoy your job? No, it stinks, literally. Um, let's just kind of, let's switch topics. Who's the most famous person who has ever sat on you? I, I can't say, but I'll give you a hint. He's the new Batman. Do you do online dating? No, I don't, because who wants to date a toilet? Uh, no one, okay? No one. That's who. Okay. Have you had any work done? Well, I mean, yeah, I had my seat lifted a few years ago. You're a delight. My favorite person ever. Until the next guest. Oh, Thank you, oh, excuse me. A little uh, backup there. Whee! 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 Jeanette and Ariana did something really cool on Salmon Cat this week. They took an actual fan's artwork and put it on the fridge in the show. Congratulations, Christina from Middletown, Connecticut. Your art was picked for the freezer frame. Ugh, too much spinning. Let's watch the show while I go throw up. Don't take it personally, Christina. Sam and I made a commercial to help us get more babysitting jobs. I think I want to quit the circus. Okay, little cat, but there's one more thing you've got to try first. Sure. Wait, what is it? I'll tell you after we watch Ariana boogie with a baby. <laughs> Lil Sam, is this gonna hurt? Probably. I hate it when you say that. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> or all those other people you said. I'm gonna do- I agree, but anyway, because of stuff, and also I'd love to, but yeah. <laughs> then maybe Heather isn't such a nice person after all. Spot the attention, Hog. I was the one who, like, made you go. Stabbing, lying, little, no good, selfish, heartless, pushy, bossy, mean bully of a girl. Whose fault is this?
girl. I always told them they were wrong. I stood up for you because I thought we were BFFs. But they're right. You really are a two-faced, backstabbing, lying, little, no-good, selfish, heartless, pushy, bossy, mean bully of a girl. Sooner or later, Amy, everyone will know what you're about. Enough. I live in this room, too, and your stench is crossing over into my... I heard that in Australia, when they flush the toilet, the water spins counterclockwise. Did you know that? Oops. Never mind. Force of habit. Okay, so maybe he's still a bit sad about Gwen. But I'll cheer him up! That's what a good wife does! We've been married 14 times in my head, and twice in my online blog, I Dream of Cody. So it'll happen for real eventually. Is that enough to buy a country? Just get it in the tube already! I'm the beauty and the brains, you're the doer of stuff that stinks! Uh, can I borrow those glasses? You have a catchphrase? Since when do you have a catchphrase?